peculiar one here, and my brain is totally tangled in knitting projects. No, seriously. Last time I spoke with you, it was about the raspberry angelic threaded cowl. Um, but since then, I got my hands into two other projects, and if I rewind about a year, I'm actually in the middle of six or seven projects that I never finished. And I'm having a hard time moving forward, knowing I have all these projects that I never finished from a while ago. And some of them were supposed to be Christmas gifts, 2010, and it's now October 28, 2011, and I haven't finished them yet. <laughs> Which makes knitting stressful for me. So here's what I did. I do have a very old um, organizer and I wrote down all my projects. I pulled out all the old stuff and there's still paper left in. I wrote down all my knitting projects. I ordered them in a list of most important to least important. And I'm breathing better. And I think I'll be able to enjoy my knitting better. One project at a time is best for me. Let me catch you up on what I've been doing in all this chaos as quick as I can. Last time we spoke, I was working on this cowl, which by the way, I was working on this using leftover stash. So this is as wide as it got. I would like for it to have been three times this width, um, this, this way, um, like this way. But I ran out of yarn and this was last season's yarn, so I'm not sure if I will be able to um, find it again. I'm not even going to look because I am so busy doing other things. So this is going to end up being a cow for one of my nieces for Christmas and I'm actually excited about that. I think she'll love it. So this is first on the list because it's the last thing I started. Well actually it's not. But this is first on the list. Second on the list for another niece I'm going to be, let me just show you, everything's in a bag. You know how I keep everything in the gift bag. Second on the list with these two colors chosen by my niece, I'm going to make her a DS case. I did one before and it was so much fun and she loved it. So this um, specific one is kind of throwing me for a loop because the pattern is for a regular DS. But this one that I'm making, I have to change it up a bit because her DS is like a DSi, PSI, extra large, 350 calorie type of DS something something. Anyway, I need to make a bigger size. And I'm really bad at sizing things. When the pattern says it should be one size, you need to make the size up. It's a catastrophe generally. So this is project number two. I'll share that with you and how I learned how to resize it as well. Project number three was a project I started last year. It was supposed to be last year's Christmas present for my Nana. This is going to be a cowl. I know there's a lot of stitches on this kind of smallish needle. I don't know if you can tell either because I don't have a zoom on my camera, but that is a cable, I don't know, is it any good? It's a hugs and kisses cable towel and the color she picked out, 2011 and Christmas is fast approaching and that's how far I got? Oh my God, I should have been working on that like last January, but instead, last January, I was so sick of making cows, I started this project, which is so exciting by the way. You take grocery bags, plastic ones, goodness gracious that you get from the grocery store, and you make yarn out of them, which I would love to show you how to do, um, and you knit a reusable grocery or market bag. So that was something I was hoping to have done and accomplished like times eight by this Christmas, and um, obviously you saw how far I got. Also, since I talked to you last, a friend of mine came over and showed me how to crochet. Now this is something that I, I know that's really small, but that's good for beginning, please, trust me. Um, something I really wanted to learn and it was a very big struggle for me. But a lot of knitting patterns call for crochet detail and I was like, I can't do it. So I would never even try the pattern because I knew there was crochet and I, was, I would see crochet in the pattern and I just tossed the idea out the window. Now I can do it. The other thing I taught myself to do since I learned how to crochet is I taught myself how to knit the continental style, which I'm still a little stressed out about. Let me show you. I started after I, before I was trying to organize everything, I started another cowl, another Christmas present. And as you can see, from here to here, I needed the way I naturally knit, which is like the throwing technique. And then from here to here, I decided I'm going to learn how to knit continentally. See the difference? Relaxed, stressed. Relaxed, stressed. So you can totally tell this 
this is all loose the way I'd normally knit, very chill, low key, and then from like here to here, it's all like super tight knitting, afraid I'm gonna mess up. So I'll probably pull it out, and I'm okay with that. I totally really am. Not that big a deal. I don't even think there was enough black yarn to make a really nice fluffy cowl. Anyway, that yarn I can find plenty of, so I can go and buy new yarn, maybe a second color to make it a little bit more vibrant. But anyway, long story short, my specific personality is one project at a time. So until I get this one finished, which hopefully I'll be seeing it up like this afternoon. And then it'll be all done. I can put it in the Christmas bag. And then I can move on to the next project. And from, from here on out, I don't want to do any more than one project at a time. Because my brain gets all... Ah! Literally. So anyway, I just wanted to do a really quick update. I am really excited about all the projects I have to finish. Um, especially now that we have a plan of action to take care of them. And once they're all done, then I can chill out and do one project at a time. And, um, well, I'm going to be doing one project at a time, but having it all planned out like that really helps you relax and enjoy them. So anyway, I just had a quick little rant and a little update just so uh, you know where I was this whole time. It was going crazy. Not anymore. So until next time, happy knitting. And do one project at a time if it makes you crazy to do more than one.